Well, uh, another number PowerPoint presentation. This will be called monitoring and controlling. So, how business has been monitored and controlled in the workplace? How functions and factors to monitor in the workplace? Now, let's go on to the PowerPoint boiled slides. So, let's go off the slide strong and present the title page from the beginning. Monitoring and controlling. Okay, the start of this presentation is it, called a slide called monitoring and controlling. Monitor and control is a process of measuring performance and taking corrective action to ensure that the business the business is on track its goals. The owners are looking to fulfill their long-term goals but realize that there are immediate goals and objectives which need to be met first if the long-term goals are to be fulfilled. Monitoring control is the practice of looking for indica indications of how the business is progressing in the short term and how the current process will impact long-term performance. So it's monitor monitoring control. Okay, so let's go on to slide number two. How a is a business monitored to control? A business is monitored by measuring the most important factors and determining which whether changes should be made should be made. Monitoring can be described as a process that involves a series of activities. These include number one, identifying important factors. Number two, specifying a standard or range of satisfactory performance. Number three, knowing who, when, and how information about the business's performance will be collected and recorded. Number four, specifying the type of comparisons that will be made. Number five, developing some possible responses if performance is outside the range. So that's how the business can be can be monitored and controlled as well. Okay, slide number three. Identifying the factors to monitor. A basic rule is to monitor those of the of the business that are most critical in full, fulfilling the owner's long term goals. Some business, businesses might focus on the level of production, cost of inputs, manufacturing practices, market, sh market share with certain demographics, the financing or major purchase, purchases or marketing strat strategies. These factors will be different for each organization. In selecting which factors to monitor, the owners will want to guard against too many or too few factors. There is no reason to monitor something that has no significant impact on whether the business reaches, reaches its goals. On the other hand, inadequate monitoring may result in potential problems being overlooked. These factors are often referred to as key performance in the cares, which stands for key P P I. Key P I Okay. That's yeah, that's the factors identified to monitoring. Okay, what is key P I? Measures that matter across the industries. Let's start with banking. Customer re retention, customer penetration, asset quality, capital and equity, assets under management on loan loss, petroleum, capital capital expenditure, exploration success rate, refinery utilization, refinery capacity, volume of proven and probable reserves. Reserves replacement costs and now into the retail capital expenditure, store portfolio changes, expected return on new stores and customer satisfaction, same store or like for like sales 
and sales per square foot and meter. So that is key to the business monitoring and control. Okay, let's go on to the next slide. Specifying a range of satisfactory performance. Keep up the good work, indeed. These benchmarks serve as criteria against which current performance can be compared to determine whether changes are needed. By specifying a range, the owners are indicating the extent to which variation can be to tolerated. For example, would a 5% increase in the cost of manufacturing a product? Whereas a change in the manufacturing process, a satisfactory range of performance is usually determined from analyzing two. Here they are, historical performance or peer performance. These, those are the steps to analyze performance and satisfactory. Okay, next slide. Knowing who, when and how information will be recorded. Each business is different, however, some guidelines to follow include number one, the task of monitoring should be assigned to somebody. Number two, an effective monitoring system provides information to the decision makers in a timely matter manner. To be timely, the information needs to be available when it can be still be used. And then number three, for, for each factor that can, will be monitored, a sensor or detector should be identified. For example, information can be gathered for activities, reports, meeting notes, financial reports, over surveys and interviews. EC. Okay, that's... Well, how do we record it to monitoring and control it? Specifying the type of comparisons that will be made. It is also beneficial to compare our performance to competitors' performance. The next activity is to compare the absurd performance to the standard range of satisfactory performance. Often the comparison may be quantitative to initiative. As part of the making the comparisons, the decisions makers may also want to review how and why performance differs from expectations. It is important to analyze key POIs over a period of time while looking at specific results may, may be of some be benefit. The overall trend of these results will give them a more complete picture of the health of the company. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Development some possible responses if performance is outside the range. Having alternatives, identify with speed the process or responding to a problem or an opportunity. There are primarily two types of response concurrent and feedback. Number one, a concurrent response focuses on immediately resolving a problem, such as a farmer takes steps to alter the outcome of the current production cycle or season. Number two, to the feedback response. Feedback response focuses on improvements in the future and involves using information about the current production process as a basis for more modifications during the next production cycle. Okay, next slide. Advantages of a detailed monitoring process. Boost employee productivity, ensuring that employees understand the importance of their contributions, goal of the organization, the heart during effect. Allows you to assess employees' output accurately. This will allow the business to find those who are underperforming and also to award those. Sorry about that, guys. Underperforming and also to award those who are making excellent effects and motivation. The whole performance system 
including the moment, process on what the company strategy and achievement of corporate goals enable to driven insights and decisions. Detect problems to early prevent to prevent disasters. Uses of organizations or work practices sports community and the supervisor. Yeah, let's go into the next slide. So there was a problem going into the next one. So, here it is. This advantages of monitoring. Employee may feel under stress to achieve performing targets if they are not set or realistically. Reduces trust level between employees and supervisors can be expensive to implement, difficult to measure. Today's organizations are rapidly changing, those results and measures quickly become obsolete. That's the advantages of monitoring. Okay, now let's check the accessibility and the slides. Okay, let's check slide. No issues. No issues. All right, just click in punctuation mark. Yeah, no. Didn't find the factors to monitor. No issues. Now, what is key? Slide. No issues specifying a rate of satisfactory performance. No issues. No one who and our how information will be recorded. No issues. Specifying the type of comparisons that will be made. No issues. Development some possible responses to performance outside the range. No issues. Advantages of a detailed monitoring process. The end punctuation mark. Then the last slide disadvantages of mon monitoring. Okay, no issues. So that's it. That is what impacted through monitoring control in the business. It's been very interesting. I've enjoyed presenting it to all of you. It's been very interesting facts and interesting steps on business being monitored and controlled in processes and satisfactory. So that's it for now. So thank you all for watching this. Have a good day and enjoy your day and Go look to all of you and your future endeavors. See you all very soon and enjoy your day. Adios.